What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with a rather somber video for the week. If you've been watching a lot of my YouTube content, you probably know that my real estate business has changed drastically, probably over the last 18 months. 18 months ago, I started to build a real estate team here in Dallas, Texas, brought in about three past clients that decided to get their license, become good friends of mine, and join my team. And then I actually started to add some staff members to it as well. I think at the peak of my growth, I had about five staff members and eight real estate agents, including myself. So about 13, 12 or 13 people on my entire real estate team. Now, 12 or 13 people people need a physical office. 12 or 13 people also need some kind of value for them to be on that real estate team. And I can tell you, I started to realize within, I mean, honestly, the first couple months that building a real estate team was not necessarily the best thing for myself. Now, accumulating all of that growth took about a year. I started initially in a very, very small office with just a business manager and a videographer. It was plenty enough space for three people to film content and to kind of grow into. But when you start having four or five, six different people in a small confined space, I needed a larger office, which is where this particular office and this filming studio, where I've been filming content for quite some time now, came into place. Now, over the course of my real estate career, I spent the first three years growing my own personal brand and my business, just closing as many transactions and building as many relationships as I physically could. Came to a point where I just didn't feel like I could close any more transactions on my own. And if I wanted to continue to close deals, I was going to have to grow a team, which is where the team started to grow. I brought in a business manager. I brought on a videographer, started to bring in those agents, kind of built to that 12 or 13 agent or 12 or 13 total personnel in the course of about a year. But when you have a small office space, it was fine for my videographer and business manager, but it wasn't fine when I started bringing on agents to the team. And we're talking about probably 11 by 15 room. It wasn't big enough to have a handful of people in. So fast forward to December of 2021, I went ahead and sold my fourplex, which was a residential fourplex I used my VA loan on. I had lived there for about a year, moved out, rented it out, and I decided to sell it due to some issues with the city. And I used it as a 1031 exchange to apply the profits to this very commercial building. Now this commercial building is a four unit office space, totals around 4,600 square feet for the four office spaces or a total of about 1,150 square feet per unit. I actually decided to remodel two of the units which is where my real estate team started to grow into and that's where I've been filming all of my YouTube content at. Now fast forward to November of 2022, the very day that I am filming this, I'm here to tell you guys, this is the last video that I'm gonna be filming from this studio. Now you may be asking why have things changed, Casey? Well, first things first, I decided too many months ago completely get rid of my real estate team. I've been down to a business manager and videographer, which is really where I started and where I really enjoyed real estate the most. I didn't enjoy babysitting or watching after other adults. I also am not necessarily the best at keeping track of making sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing because I've got enough going on in my personal life as well as my business life to be able to maintain and watch over other people. It was just too much to handle, especially when I'm trying to create content for social media as well. So that brings me here today to tell you guys that this office space that I spent the last year in is officially leased out as of December 1st of this year. So what does that mean for KMAC Realty Group in Dallas, Texas? Am I still gonna do real estate? Am I gonna get out of real estate? Like what does it look like for me in the future? Well, I can tell you, I'm definitely not gonna be needing 2,300 square feet, which is the main reason why I actually put this on the market and was looking for someone to lease it out. I found a great real estate and property manager management company that's going to be coming in here and actually keeping all of the furniture. So let's say maybe three years down the road, my life changes again, and I want to take back over this office. I very much can. Again, I am the sole owner of all four office spaces, but he's keeping the furniture here. He's going to run his real estate business out of here. And I'm actually going to be shifting all of my production into my in-house studio. Now that studio is gonna be actually where I operate my real estate business, so yes, I'm gonna to continue to sell homes, I'm gonna to continue to invest in real estate, and I'm gonna to continue to create content for everyone that watches my YouTube channel. Now one downside that you guys will see is the size of this particular office space is large. Now we don't need this much space to film content, but you're gonna see the in-house office that I have is much, much smaller. So we're gonna to have to be creative when it comes to filming in that particular space, as well as creating a space for myself. In addition, be able to create space for me to run my real estate company out of. 
Now my business manager is gonna turn into a fully remote position. We still are gonna grab lunch maybe a couple times a week or maybe meet up once a week. It's gonna be flexible so it actually works in her favor. And as far as the videographer goes, the videographer follows me around for majority of the day or stays home editing. So not a lot is gonna be changing there. That individual is just gonna be heading to my house or wherever I wanna film content at rather than the physical office where I've been filming a lot of the talking head videos at. So why did I do this guys? And I can tell you when you only have two staff members and myself to utilize a 2300 square foot fully renovated real estate office, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I actually opened the opportunity for other realtors within my company to utilize this space. And I was honestly a little bit shocked when they said that, you know, they didn't need the office space. Now, I can tell you a lot of my success and a lot of my discipline comes from coming to the office or showing up at the office every single day, getting to the gym in the morning and being consistent with my routine. Not to say that you can't be successful without a routine, but it certainly helped me. So I'm gonna be able to get back into a routine, but I'm gonna have to stay focused knowing that I'm gonna be working a majority of the time from home. So going back to what this is for, I can tell you my payment actually has only been interest only due to the fact that I remodeled two of the four units. The commercial loan that I did was actually a construction loan. So for the first 12 months, I have only interest only payments, meaning I haven't been really making any payments on my principal. Now, fast forward to a couple months from now, I'm actually gonna be incurring that additional principal amount. So my payment is gonna be going up substantially. So with my payment going up substantially, can I make the payment here? Can I continue to work out of the office here? Sure, the payment isn't the biggest issue. It's the fact that this office space is not gonna get its full use out of. Instead, I'm gonna be able to put a full real estate team in here that's gonna love the space, utilize the space, and I can tell you the rent that they're gonna be paying me ranges anywhere from five to close to $6,000 a month. Now it's a three-year lease on top of that, so you do some quick math, it's gonna be close to $200,000 that I'm gonna be making off the tenant that are occupying this particular unit over the next three years. So if you go back to when I got rid of my team, I got rid of a lot of paid lead services. I got rid of three staff members. I got rid of majority of the agents, which the agents didn't necessarily directly cost me any money. They just cost me time. Now, all the other things that I provided them, but that such as the leads, you know, such as the staff, such as the office, so on and so forth, that stuff definitely cost a lot of money. I can give you guys a monetary value here that of a about $275,000 annually by getting rid of my team completely is what I'm actually saving. So what I'm really excited for guys is to be able to look back at my 2022 taxes, see how much expenses I had in that year and how, I guess you could say, unprofitable my business was, and then be able to look forward towards my 2023 taxes and see the income is obviously gonna have a little bit of a fall down because I no longer have a team, but the level of profitability my real estate team and just my overall self will have will be substantially higher than it's been this year. Well guys, we are back at my house. Some of you may actually recognize this house because I filmed the entire process of building this custom house back in 2020. But with the leasing of my office, I'm actually gonna be starting to utilize my office space that I designed initially for the intent to use. And honestly, this room has gone very much not used in the past couple of years because I had a small office space at a mortgage company and then I bought my commercial space and have been occupying that for really the last 12 months. But in the next couple weeks, that place is officially leased out for the next three years. So what you guys see here now, it's a pretty small room. Uh, we're used to our pretty large room and large commercial building just out the get go. So cramming everything in here and designing not just an office space for me to work out of, but also in an area for us to film all of my YouTube content is going to be interesting. Now it's gonna be a lot of fun being able to design a studio here for me. I can tell you without giving too many secrets away that I'm probably only gonna be here a couple more years. My plan for the next house that I'm looking to build is going to be incredible. But with that house, I'm certainly going to have my own designated filming studio as well as my own personal office. But for the time being, this is what we are going to have to use. Personally, I don't see any benefit of going out and getting a very, very small office space, spending a thousand or 1500 bucks on it while I can write off my office inside of my house. It really doesn't cost me a dime. So stay tuned for more content being filmed in this studio inside of my house. But because I'm not necessarily stationary to my commercial building anymore, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more outside of the house and just roaming around filming more content for you guys. Thanks again for all the support, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help. And stay tuned for the next video.